Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I'm Mary Hayashi. I represent the 18th Assembly District, uh, including Hayward. I've been a member of the Hayward Demos for uh, over, over eight years now. And of course, I'm a Democrat. I hold a partisan office. Um, as many of you know, I have dedicated my life to public service. Um, I've been a women's health activist, community leader, elected, and elected official for the past 20 years, uh, in the last six years serving in the State Assembly. Um, this week was so exciting because Governor Jerry Brown signed one of my bills uh, addressing veterans' access to education. Uh, I authored legislation earlier this year uh, allowing veterans to qualify for in-state tuition because right now uh, if you're a veteran and returning from war you don't, you're not eligible to receive in-state tuition for more than 12 months and my legislation extends that to two years so I'm very um, excited that the governor signed this bill and it will have a great impact throughout the state. Um, one of my first legislations that I've authored in the Assembly was AB 509, creating off a statewide Office of Suicide Prevention. And, you know, we're one of the few states, uh, this was back in 2007, and we're, the, we're one of the few states where we had no Office of Suicide Prevention within the Department of Mental Health Services. So this is one of the first uh, initiatives uh, that I led, and I was very um, honored to achieve it the very first year in the Assembly and uh, the office still exists and it has, it's connected to the National Suicide Hotline and it's of course uh, helping to save lives. I've also authored AB 108, uh, health insurance companies used to be able to cancel a policy after someone got sick. I passed the law to stop that practice uh, three years ago. And two years ago, I've authored AB 73 which is uh, which created a permanent funding for the Alameda County District Attorney's Office uh, Family Justice Center. And as many of you heard of this office because it, it provides important uh, services to women and children who are victims of domestic violence. Now the program also uh, supports prosecuting domestic violence cases as well. Two years ago I had an opportunity to author a legislation that basically reduced uh, administrative overhead expenses at the California State Lottery. And just by doing that in the last uh, two and a half years, the state has, uh, okay, he's very loud. Um, <laughs> I, will, I will attempt to uh, uh, incorporate other comments in my clothes, uh, but I've been honored to serve in this role and I would be honored to receive your endorsement tonight. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for inviting me. Unfortunately, I can't get your endorsement. I registered as a Republican. I voted in the past as Democrat, uh, bipartisan. I've always, my whole life, figured whoever the candidate is, who cares what party they're in? If you like what they stand for, you vote for them. A uh, little bit about myself. I. Grew up and graduated high school in Miles City, Montana. I joined the Navy in 1981. I served uh, aboard the USS Wabash, AOR-5. It was an oiler supply ship. We were in the Gulf War. Uh, so I served you, the American people, as a veteran for four years. After I got out, my grandfather was ill. I returned to Montana, took over his backhoe business. After three years doing that, I returned to the East Bay. My wife at the time was transferred here. I've always lived in Hayward or Newark my entire time in California. 1988, I did all the testing for the Alameda County Sheriff's Department, which I was successful with the Academy in 89. And until last Friday, when I retired, I've been serving you, the citizens of Alameda County, for 23 and a half years as a deputy sheriff, during which time I've worked around all phases of Alameda County government. I know where there's problems. I know how to fix them. Uh, with the state budget cuts and the prison going to the county, this is an overwhelming financial burden. 
my desire to run for county supervisor is because public safety is number one. I do not know if Sheriff Plummer's past sales tax has expired, but I'd sure like to know why the county has been cutting public safety's budget for the past several years. For the last seven years as a deputy, we have not been able to get a raise. They keep having us forego raises for budget cuts so they could spend their money elsewhere. But that sales tax for public safety was intended to be public safety. There was never supposed to any money go anywhere else. So I always wondered why they cut from the sheriff. But uh, outside of that, uh, probation, parole, juvenile justice, coroner, court system, uh, social services, every department the county has in my 23 years I've been involved with one way or another. Uh, I feel that I have the most experience with the county government. I have a lot of program ideas that are good. Okay, well just in closing, I hope I earned your vote. I can't get your endorsement, but please vote for me November 6th. Uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce myself by talking about two issues that I know are going to come up during this election, and that's uh, St. Rose Hospital and Tri-Sed Community Recycling. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I grew up in Union City. I've lived there for over five decades. Uh, I went to elementary school at Cyril's. I graduated from James Logan High School in 1968, where I met my wife. And then I spent two years uh, in the United States Army. Uh, when I came back, I used a GI Bill to go to school. I graduated from Chimel College and uh, Cal State. Uh, St. Rose Hospital, let me get to that right away. I was asked to join St. Rose Hospital by Sister Antoinette and Sister Helene. If you remember them, uh, the Sisters of St. Joseph started St. Rose 50 years ago. And about 12 years ago, they left. They, they asked the board members who incorporated St. Rose as a 501c3 nonprofit to make a commitment to the community and to the Sisters of St. Joseph that we would continue the mission of providing health care to people who cannot afford to pay for it. So we all met with Sister Helene and Sister Antoinette and the other sisters. And we also talked to the bishop. And we committed that we could continue the mission of providing health care to the poor in South County. As a result of that, as health care has spun out of control, through no control of St. Rose, through no control of the board of directors of St. Rose, we wound up in a deficit situation. Because we cannot control Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and all those expensive health care uh, providers. And that's how we arrived at this situation. So we kept our commitment to the sisters. And we did what the sisters wanted us to do. And we continue to do that today. Now I left the board of St. Rose three days after I was sworn into office. But I know that the board that remains continues with that mission. So going forward, they're gonna do that. With regard to Tricep, I'm very proud to say that I've been the president and CEO, one of the founders of the corporation. It's been around for going on 33 years. We have in that time, provided employment to thousands, over a thousand young people from South Hayward, Union City, Fremont, Newark, targeting hard to employ kids who are involved in gang violence. Simultaneously, we've created great paying jobs for Teamsters, people who live and work here in the community. That's who I am, and that's why I'm asking for your support and endorsement. Last thing I'll say is, I have received the endorsement of the Alameda County Democratic Party. Fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now we're opening it up to questions. Do people have questions to ask?